Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts Bold Speech, and we have formatting trick number three for the Office Timeline Plus added. Adding and or removing vertical and horizontal task lines within your graphic. So now that I've made it this far with the graphic, let's say that I actually don't want these horizontal task lines in the graphic, and I want vertical task lines here on my testing task to come from my shape down to my time bar. And again, I don't want to have to grab lines, holding shift, draw these in, duplicate them, etc. Instead, I just want to let the office timeline graphic do it for me. So let's start with these horizontal task bars to make macro changes to your graphic. You're going to come to the office timeline add-in. You want to come to the styles gallery for macro level edits. The dialog box opens. I'll come to the task bar here on the left. I'm going to scroll down. And the nice thing about this dialog box is if you don't know what something does, you just hover over it. Notice as I hover over the vertical nectar over there on the right, you'll see exactly what it's going to add or remove to my graphic. I'm now dealing with these horizontal ones. You can see the thin option selected. I'll select hide, select OK. The graphic goes to work, and the horizontal task lines are automatically removed from my graphic. If I want to add vertical connectors to a task and I don't want them on each and every one of these, instead of going to the styles gallery, which is macro level edits, I instead want to come to the task pane for the micro level edits. So I'm first going to select the task that I want to add those vertical connectors for, come to the task pane. This is again where you want to make the micro level edits and I'll scroll down, come find my task connectors, scroll down. There's not a live preview here, but I know that it's the vertical. I'm going to select thick and notice that the thick lines are automatically added. Now I could then select another task. Notice that it's purple, so it's the same one. I could again add or hide those connectors, but for now, that's all I want to do with the graphic. So that's how to add and remove vertical and horizontal task lines within your office timeline graphic. This again is hands down the fastest way that I know of to build a timeline or Gantt chart in PowerPoint while still retaining full control of the graphic. To get the full functionality of the add-in, you do need to get the paid version, but it'll more than pay for itself in time savings with the very first graphic you build with it. Next up, we'll look at how to change the macro level formatting styles of your entire graphic with just a few clicks of your mouse. And remember, if you want a link to the Office Timeline add-in or a cheat sheet of the steps covered here, look for the links below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts of Bold Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour. What I want to point out is this flat versus gel look. And if you just look at this box very closely, you can see the gel has shadows and bevels on the objects where the flat doesn't. My current graphic if I just come out of that, has that drop shadow, has those bevels. If I don't like that for any reason, I can simply come to change, select change, flat versus gel. Which will